How's it going guys, it's your deep here inside for episode number 9 of Mikael Pedersen BA Pro. Last we left off, we had just eliminated the Minnesota Wild in 5 games. Mikael Pedersen with a world class performance and this se this episode will be in a series against the number 2 seeded Chicago Blackhawks. In the other series we got Columbus playing St. Louis, New York playing New York, the New York Rangers versus the Islanders and Buffalo playing Pittsburgh. So, uh, as you can see, Patrick Kane leads the team in goals with 5, Hosa assists with 7, so those two players are going to be the main players to watch uh, for the Blackhawks. And here we go, 4.5 uh, star offense for Anderson, 4.5 star defense, and 3.5 star goalie for for the Oilers, and then a 4 star offense, 4.5 star defense, and 4 star goalie for the Blackhawks. So with that, we'll go into Game 1. We're in Chicago, we're in the United Center, and it should be a very good game. And here to start off in the second period, Chicago is on the power play. Hosa will get a chance. It'd be poked by Patterson. Letty feeds it over to Hosa, and Hosa would put it away to take the 1 0 lead. About two minutes later, though, Pedersen gets a breakaway. He shoots, it goes off the post, so he stopped there. But he ends up getting the pass back from Smith, and nice little uh, shot there to catch Crawford out of position and put it away to make it 1 1. Later on here in the third period, Smith ends up checking Oduya. He feeds it over to Hemsky, and Hemsky would find the back of the net. A nice goal there by uh, Smith and Hemsky. This uh, SPH line, the Smith Pedersen Hemsky line is doing pretty well, but Hosa has something to say about that. He gets a second in the game there to tie the game up at two. Later on, Sharp would bring it in. Can't get the gets a shot on that, but stopped by uh, Dubnik. Look at that speed from Pedersen, and he puts it away past Crawford. And with that, Edmonton goes up 3-2, to two, but with just under a minute left in the third, Patrick Kane would take a shot. They go over to Aletti, who would shoot, and Boland tips it in. Dave Boland, the hero there, to tie up the game. So this one went to OT, and with Edmonton on the power play, Nugent Hopkins brings it in. Feeds it in front to the center, and Hevsky somehow puts it away. And with that, we the Oilers are able to win this game 4-3 to three in overtime and go up in this series one to nothing. A solid performance there by Alex Hemsky as well as Miko Pedersen, Marion Hosa all two goals each. Miko Pedersen ends up getting the second star for that game. A solid performance for him. So let's take a look at the uh, playoff tree. Edmonton up one nothing. St. Louis is up one nothing over Columbus and in the uh, east it's the Isles and I think it was the Sabres that are up also one nothing. So anyways we'll go into game two here and start off here. Pedersen take a shot. It's stopped by Crawford and that zone that Pedersen if he's able to get in there there's a really good chance he's going to get a goal because here he calls for the puck for Hall. He gets in the same spot and he puts it away. A nice shot there by Patterson, and that's just a world-class goal to make it 1-0. And the same, Edmonton would end up going to up 2-0. Later on, Hosa off. Uh, Patterson comes off the bench, and with that right away, Hosa would put it away to make it 2-1. Uh, they would get another goal in the sim, and uh, later on, Beach would bring it in the middle shoot and eventually Peary will pick up the puck and put it away to make a 3-2 for Chicago. They take the lead. So uh, three straight goals for Chicago but later on Hamsky feeds it over to Smith and Smith will put it away to tie up the game at 3-3 three, three, uh, three all with six minutes left in the third. About a couple seconds later Hayes will put it away. Uh, bad play there by Smead. And uh, it's the 4-3 about another 15 seconds later Pedersen feeds it over for Hamsky and Hamsky puts it away. Uh, to make it 4-4. Four to four. It went to OT and once again Edmonton prevails in overtime on the power play. So good job with the power play. Came, coming up clutch there. A nice 5-4 uh, win in OT. One goal and assist for Pedersen and uh, with that Edmonton is able to move up 2-0. St. Louis is also up 2-0 over Columbus in their series. Isles up 2-0 and then Buffalo and Pittsburgh are now tied at 1. So with that we'll go into game 3. We're back in Edmonton and Edmonton is looking to go up 3 nothing to solidify this series lead and make it a hell of a comeback for uh, Chicago to overcome. So anyways, here in the first period, Hemsky goes across, feeds it over to Pedersen, once again catches Crawford out of position, and Pedersen puts it away to make it one to nothing. A solid performance uh, start for Pedersen in this game. Later on, Schultz would try to take a shot. Smith would end up finding the puck. Patterson sneaks through the defense, calls for it, and look at that. A one-time clapper. Just a beautiful goal there from Mikael Pedersen. Later on, though, with just about 10, under 10 seconds left, Hosa will shoot, and he puts it away to make it 2-1. Hosa is still on fire. He's got a goal in every single game of the series so far. Later on, we go into the second. Uh, Pedersen gets this uh, play poke check, but he ends up finding it again. A nice jump deke there. Feeds it over for Hemsky, and Hemsky puts it away. And that's a nice combination between Pedersen and Hemsky. It would end up being 3-2 uh, three, three, in the sim. 
but that is as close as Chicago would get it because Edmonton would hold on for a 3-2 win and a two goals and one assist game for Mikko Pedersen, a solid performance by him and Edmonton is able to move up 3-0 in the series as well as St. Louis is uh, surprising Columbus right now up 3-0. The Isles are up over the first seeding Rangers 2-1 and Pittsburgh is up over Buffalo 2-1. So a lot of surprises here. We'll go into game four and... Edmonton has a chance to sweep the series. They weren't able to do it against Minnesota, but they're looking forward to doing it now. And to start off here, Pedersen will get the puck, walk in, cut back, able to avoid any defenseman, and fires it. A little bit of a bad defense there from the Blackhawks, but with that, they were able to go up 1-0. Chicago, we end up getting two back in the sim before the uh, first inning. We go to the third. Ten seconds left. Pedersen to the shot. He usually makes those. Takes another shot, and it's stopped by Crawford. So... And he would end up taking a penalty there for uh, tripping, and he'd end up watching the rest of the game in the box. Uh, a 2-1 to one loss, and with that uh, third star performance, though, for Mikko Pedersen, one goal and 14 shots. So he doesn't score every time, but, I mean, he does get another goal in this game, his fourth straight game uh, with a goal. Actually, I think he scored every game this playoff. So St. Louis ends up sleeping, sweeping Columbus. So uh, Vigno is out, and Islanders are up 3-1, to one, and Buffalo and Pittsburgh are tied 2-2. So a lot of surprises there uh, so far in these playoffs. Going to Game 5, we're back in Chicago, and Edmonton was able to pull it off in Minnesota. They were able to win the series in 5, and we'll see if they could do it here. And to start off here, Smith would end up feeding it over... Uh, to Pedersen right here after he calls for it. Nice jump deep there past Hosa and he just snipes it past Crawford and that shot is proving to be one of the best in the past years. He is just on fire with that shot. Later on Pedersen would get called for the puck again and another clapper gets it past Crawford and Crawford is just no match for Pedersen. About 120 left Chicago would get a goal. Taze would score there and then in an empty net goal Jordan Everly would put it away with a minute with under a minute left. Pedersen goes on with 25 seconds left in the third, and you know what he wants with the, pull, with the uh, goal he pulled. He wants to get that hat trick, so he's going to call it for here. He ends up getting checked by Oduya. He chases it up to Hedromason, able to get the blue puck loose, and he shoots, and he's able to find the back of the net. And with that, Pedersen gets himself a hat trick in the final game of this series. So once again, Edmonton is able to take over the opposition in a five game series. Another 4-1 to one win, and they've knocked out the number 1 seed. They've knocked out the number 2 seed, and the St. Louis Blues are waiting for them in the next round. Miko Pedersen, once again, stepping up big. Uh, 9 goals and 2 assists in this series. One, uh, one point improvement over his last one, so he's getting, he's staying as hot as he is. Maybe even getting a little bit better. There you see the handshakes. Horkoff is celebrating. This young Edmonton team is able to mesh together. They're saying this team is reminiscent of that LA Kings team that was able to go on the Stanley Cup run as the A seed. There is no stopping these guys. Miko Pedersen, three goals, three points. Debbie Dumnik, second star. And Ryan Smith rounding out the third star. So that SBH line, the smith pedersen uh, Hemsky line, is just play, stepping up big time uh, so far in these playoffs. So there you have the uh, stats. Pedersen, 18 goals, three assists, 21 points in 10 games. Smith and Hemsky trail behind him. So that line is just dominating at this point. Uh, Nine goals and two assists for Pedersen in this series. Once again, we'll go over to Columbus and see Vigno. No points in his series so far. Uh, well, he got swept, so no points in this series. He did show up in the first one, but the second one, not too good. And uh, NHL, Pedersen does lead the league in points and goals so far these playoffs, so he's having the playoffs of his life. And we'll uh, take a quick look here at uh, St. Louis' stats. The team that we're facing, Berglund and McDonald are leading the way. Pietrangelo also playing a good... Uh, Good uh, playoff so far. So, anyways, playoff tree. St. Louis has six. Uh, St. Six seed is St. Louis uh, playing against the eight seed Edmonton, and then Buffalo, the second seed, playing against the six seed Isles. So the Isles are able to upset the Rangers. So we'll have that in the next episode, and we'll see if Mikko Pettersson can lead the Oilers to the Stanley Cup Finals. So, anyways, this is the uh, new outro. Uh, just going to talk for a little bit here. First off, I'd like to apologize for not uploading uh, in the recent uh, basically weeks. I've been just working like crazy, but the project and the job has been done. So I'll be uh, having a little bit more time to uh, play games and edit and record and that kind of stuff. I just ran out of content. I really had no time whatsoever to uh, get any more uh, recordings done. So whatever I had, I just edited it and uploaded it, but I am a little bit ahead now after a long day of playing yesterday. So uh, with that, uh, 
So don't worry, there will be more videos in the future. I am kind of looking forward to the NHL 14 demo. I'll definitely have some videos on that there where I'll have maybe a couple tutorials if I find anything new, maybe <laughs> new glitches to try to get EA to fix before it even gets out. So anyways, this new outro is actually done by uh, Sub08136. He uh, did my channel art and now he did my outro. Uh, the way it's going to work is I'll have, you could probably see right now, there will be annotations on the actual video that's playing. That's going to be the previous video in the series. So this is going to be the one that I'm showing right now is episode number eight of uh, Miko Pedersen, where we had the round one. So if you did miss the last episode, you can always click on the end of the video and uh, check what happened there. And also, I'll have a subscribe button if you guys want to subscribe. I have an annotation there, and also if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. So once again, thanks to Sub Zero Eight One Three Six for uh, the outro. Hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.